Okay, so today is February 26, 2013, and this is my solo flight with uh, Captain and Instructor Albert Loza. So I like the way you're check taxiing. This is nice and nice and no, no rush. There's no rush or nothing, you know. This is a, a solo. Take it easy. Don't rush yourself, okay? Mm -hmm. You only rush yourself, you're gonna get in trouble. Slow down. If you have to tell the guy, look. I don't care. If, I don't care if there's three airplanes behind me. I need more time. Okay. Right? Because this is life and death. This is uh, serious. You know, if you don't feel comfortable, wait until you figure it out. Here you go. There you go. No, que no, que no quiero reventar la llanta. Sí. No. Bueno. Okay, make sure you walk behind the airplane. About to do my solo. It's 10.05 in the morning. So here we go. Lights, camera, action. Military additional traffic now, 11 o'clock, 3 miles, southwest down, climbing at us, 3,208 Twin Otter. 9 we're looking for that traffic also. Perfect lights, two green, two white. Aiming on the numbers, and here's the first touch and go by myself. Entry, your transponder is on, I'm not receiving any information. All right, sure, checking. Oh my God, perfect. Okay, and land it. Here we go again, second one. Okay, so I'm maintaining 1,500 feet. This airport is 500 feet, about 500 feet height. So I'm maintaining 1,500. So when I'm on the base and final, I will care. I will have still a thousand feet to land. As soon as I hit the runway on the side where the numbers I'm going to be touching up, that's when I reduce power. But I maintain the altitude, put the car heat on to make sure that there's no freezing on the carbs. Right on the glide, two whites, two green. Silver Sun Whiskey Tango traffic, 12 o'clock, turning to the eastbound is a Sherpa 2100 jumping in the jump zone. Silver Sun Tango traffic, that's right. Silver Sun Whiskey Tango, runway 26 right, clear to stop and go, then make right close traffic. Silver Sun Whiskey Tango, uh, clear for stop and go, thank you. Okay, I bounced the airplane, so what I did is I just recovered, just to make sure. I'm having a lot of bumps on the air, so I did a quick touch and go and then left. 
I don't want to bounce this airplane and then hit him on the on the propeller. Five one hotel Abin. Listen, five one hotel follow the RV on a half mile funnel number two, runway two six right, clear to land. Following RB, uh, two six right, uh, clear to land, and it will be a full stop, sir. I want to tell traffic above and to your left is a Sherpa 2100 indicated. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Got it on site. So the three touch and goes, two touch and goes, and finally I landed. I got confused a little bit on the last one. I thought I had a traffic in front of me, but it was someone who was already about to take off, and that's why I made a, a wide turn, which is not a good idea. So I'm about to get reprehended by my instructor. But anyway, first flight, I'm safe. Solo, my first solo. I'm happy for it. He's not too happy. I can see his face. <laughs> Once I saw my bassy again, two yeah. greens to red, I said, okay, I'm You're okay. Good. Yeah. But I did bounce the airplane. You did fine. Yeah, and you the solo. Like I said, it's not for being, you know, you got it done. That's, that's what counts. Yeah. Student pilot. You're a solo student now. Yeah. I'm gonna, uh, is that camera still on? Good. I did it. What? <laughs>